Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and this is a quick tutorial on installing and using a newer Linux kernel in Ubuntu 19.10. Now normally if you actually install any version of Ubuntu you are generally stuck with the version of the Linux kernel that it ships with. For example if you install Ubuntu 19.10 then you'll find it actually ships with the Linux kernel 5.3 whereas Ubuntu 20.04 which is scheduled for release at the end of April 2020 will actually be shipped with the Linux kernel 5.4. Now, in the majority of cases, you do not need to typically update the kernel to a more recent version, uh, with, ex with one exception, new hardware support. More specifically, if you've actually got a recently released AMD graphics card. And the reason you, you want to do this is because if you're actually running a kernel that predates the hardware that you've actually got installed, then the open source drivers that support it will not actually be included in that older version of the kernel, and your functionality could be impacted. Uh, it should also be noted that this is not actually something that affects NVIDIA graphics cards as you actually install a proprietary driver that is independent to the kernel version. So the solution is to actually install an application called the Ubuntu Mainline Kernel Installer and this will allow you to download and install any of the official mainline Linux kernels that are available for Ubuntu. Now there's a couple of methods for doing this but I've actually found the easiest method is actually through the terminal. So the first thing we need to do is add the PPA for this particular application. So luckily on this particular page it'll show you exactly how to do it. So if we copy this repository and add it, obviously type in your password, press enter. And whilst it's just doing that we're just going to get the next command re ready which will update all of the PPAs and your repositories. So that was sudo apt update. And now we actually install the mainline application itself. So if we go to that and then paste, press Y to confirm that. And this will be done very shortly. Uh, on a related note, if you ever actually want to check what kernel version you're actually running, if you type in uname, then space and then R, as you can see there, I'm running 5.3. So once the application is actually installed, it's just a matter of selecting what version of the kernel you want to install. So in this case, we'll go for the very latest, which is 5.6. Click install, type in your password, and then pretty much just let it run through the process of downloading and installing and activating that for you. It takes a couple of minutes, depending on your system. Okay, so as it states here, a reboot's now required to actually use the new kernel. So I'm going to reboot the system and then we'll check if it's been updated. Okay, so we've rebooted, so let's bring up the terminal again and run the command. So as you can see, we've now actually run in the 5.6 version of the kernel. Now, one thing just to note is that by default, Ubuntu will actually reboot and always boot into the most recent version. So you may actually have a scenario in which you've got several kernels installed and you maybe find a problem with the latest version but you want to swap back to another one uh, but you actually want that option on boot so the easiest way I've found of doing this is if you actually install the group customizer so again we're going to do this through a terminal so if you want to simply type in sudo apt install and then grub dash customizer Make note that it's customised with a Z, the American spelling. Obviously I'm British, so I would normally spell it with an S, but in this case it's a Z. Uh, I've already actually installed it, but at this point you would obviously get press Y to continue. So let's load up Group Customizer. Type in our password. And let it refresh. So as you can see here, here's a list of all the kernels that we could boot into. By default, you won't see this because it's hidden. So I'm going to show you how you actually unhide that. So the first thing you do is go to General Settings and make sure this option here where it says Boot Default Entry. By default, that will be set to zero. So just set that to how many seconds you want to wait. So 10, for example. And then go to Advanced Settings at the bottom. And make sure that Grub Timeout Style is set to zero. By default, it will it'll actually say hidden. But once you've done that, click save. Close that down. And then on reboot, you should have an option. So I'll just show you that in a second. 
So there you go, you've got an option here. So top option will boot you into the most recent, so in this case 5.6, but if you go to advanced options, here you go, here's your options of either booting back into free, uh, 5.3 or 5.6. So let's do let's do 5 points free again. So again run that command, so we're back to 5.3 again. So with that it brings this video to an end. As always, thank you very much for watching and if you did find this video helpful, please do like the video and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Thank you again and I'm sure I'll see you next time. Goodbye.